Hello, this is Dr. Larry Green. We're talking about using an offloader to safely drain Wakashi tea and separate the tea from the fermented material using an offloader machine that we've just assembled. So here you see a typical 55 gallon drum fermenter. I've put the safety strap in place so that it's resting on the foot pad of the rotating offloading unit and I've secured it in such a way that you'll notice that the drain is at the bottom. Band clamp is in place. There's an ID label on the top of the fermenter that we use to track when the material was first put into the fermenter and of course we can determine about seven to ten days when it's ready to go. Uh, typically that's all it takes to get a fermentation of food waste. So the first step is move the 55 gallon drum to the offloading unit, secure it in place with the safety strap. Then we just simply rotate it. Move the pin before you start rotating. Rotate it all the way to the down position. Place the safety locking pin in place and we're ready to drain. Now the band camp clamp keeps the fermenter sealed and closed. There is a pressure relief valve here. That's a safety valve spring loaded that's used on all our fermenters. And when that's removed we can place a 55 gallon drum, or excuse me, a 5 gallon container below the barrel and we will be able to collect about 5 gallons of Bakashi tea in that process. Now once all of the material has been collected, all the liquid has been removed, all that's going to drain, we have two choices. We can either take the band clamp off and open the fermenter and slide the fermented pulp material into a wheelbarrow or some other container that we would use to then deliver to the field. Or we can take the safety pin, locking pin out, return the fermenter to an upright position where it's safe. And now remove the band clamp. Remove the lid to the fermenter. And we can transport this material now to the field to be loaded at about 20 pounds per square foot. Uh, which will then be tilled, distilled into the uh, soil to create an extremely rich soil for your plants, crops, and uh, return all these nutrients rapidly within about uh, another 10 days to the soil so you can plant. You'll notice that the fermenting unit has the 55 gallon fermenter and a drain uh, device here that allows the liquid to flow through without the pulp so that we can collect all the material and use that tea as a foilant spray or as drip irrigation. So that's the process. It's fairly straightforward. We can load up to four fermenters at a single time. One individual can handle and tip each of these barrels and lock them into position, unload them as they see uh, fit uh, to meet their schedule, and it makes it possible for a single individual to have, handle safely up to one ton of fermented material. Uh, and this unit with the 55 gallon drum fermenters generally is very efficient uh, for processing anywhere from one to 12 tons of food waste per month.